Good morning, viewers. Uh, welcome into this morning's service. And I would want to begin with a short prayer. Let's pray. Almighty and ever living God, we thank you for yet another opportunity that you've given us today to be alive and to worship you, to listen to your word, that Lord, you may be able to speak to our hearts. So we invite your presence that dear Lord, you'll speak to us through the power of your Holy Spirit. Be our interpreter, be our teacher as we listen to you. Bless my viewers uh, this morning, wherever they are, that Lord Almighty, you will help us to understand your word and that we may be able to practice it in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for this is our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeah, welcome uh, this morning. I am Venerable Salome Leipa and uh, I serve in the Anglican churches, but I'm glad to bring this uh, message this morning and I would want to speak on the favor of God, the favor of God. And I would want to begin by saying the, the sharing a story, a short story that I read a short while ago, about uh, quite a number of years ago, of this man who decided that he wanted to get rich quickly. He wanted to, to go and steal uh, someone's cows. And he took his four sons, he placed them strategically, uh, every one of them to watch so that they will not be caught. And uh, while he finished the fourth one, placing the fourth son, this uh, who, who was the last born, he told his father, Daddy, you have done well to place us in all these strategic places and we will be watching to ensure that uh, nobody uh, finds us here. Uh, but then, Daddy, who will watch for us from above? Because God is watching. You know, this takes me back uh, to the thought that our God is a God of excellence. It doesn't matter what we are doing. It doesn't matter where we are. He is watching and it is always good to know that he is watching. And God blesses excellence, doing things according to the standards of God. Uh, because you see this story, in this story, the son spoke to the father a fact because the father had uh, overlooked the thought that um, the, uh, our God sees from above. And so here I would want us to uh, talk a little bit on uh, the favor of God, saying that it doesn't matter which field God has placed you. You see, even if you are in the private sector, it is God who has sent you there. Whether you are in the public sector, you have been sent to be there. Maybe you are a domestic worker. You have been sent to be there and represent God and do things according to the excellence of God, God's standards. And we cannot, we, 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 I wish that every one of us, especially as we listen to this word, that we will pray that God will help us to achieve that which is of excellence. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9 and verse number 10 says, Whatever your hands find to do, do it with all your might. That is the standards of God. You give everything, be it sweeping, simple sweeping of the floor, do it exactly the way it should be done. Be it do it, working with your computer, whatever it is, a friend of God, you are to give the excellence of God. That nobody will come after you to clean after you are done. You give it everything. You give all that um, you, you, you can according to your, to your level. And again, I would want to bring this one out. That your excellence or my excellence may not be 100% perfect. But God cares about the attitude we place in the things that we do. Our objective and uh, where, what we think, you know, how we think about the things that we do. So that is what God wants to see. And he blesses that. As we talk about excellence, um, the story of Joseph in the Bible, in Genesis chapter 
number 39 and uh okay in, in several places it has been mentioned that the lord was with joseph but number 21 also mentions it and it says i'm, I'm reading from king james version but the lord was with joseph and he showed him mercy and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison praise the lord uh, the lord was with joseph and god's favor was upon joseph so when he went into prison uh, the favor of god went with him and the prison keeper who was watching all along the, uh, you know discovered that joseph was a trustworthy man that he could be given the charge of the other prisoners that he could be like a prefect in the prisoner in the prison why the favor of god was with him and because the favor of god was with him he did everything as per god's excellence he gave all that he could and we know that again uh, the same story of joseph when he was taken to potiphar's house you know before the prison he had been sent to potiphar's house and when he was there the bible says that potiphar's house was so blessed because joseph did everything per excellence he was afraid of god you know he revered god he wanted to do things that will please god and so uh the, the 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 favor of the lord was upon him and he did not let god down so what am i saying i am saying this that god places us wherever we are placed for his own honor for his own glory we may not all be the same you know we are different like you know the fingers of my hand yeah there are those people whose ability is high others are middle and others are very low and that is the ability that we have and so my, my, my standard may not be your standard but it doesn't matter to god it doesn't matter the bible says to him whose more is given to him much is expected and so your excellence may not be my excellence but it doesn't matter my brother my sister what matters is that you have been placed where you are and god is counting on you to see the excellence to see the standards that you set for yourself to see fruitfulness because god did not create you or place you wherever you are and then you give negative results and as we do we give our best which i said may not be perfect but you're giving all be it in your mind be it in your might you are giving all god blesses that effort that you have made praise the lord jesus christ and so um it is good that we know that uh, maybe because of the challenges of life life may have pushed you to situations where you you feel that uh, you are not you are not able to do anything you know you you've come from grace to grass you've come from top to bottom you have come from a life of victory to a kind of a life of defeat and maybe you feel that you are discouraged uh, you may have even given up hope unakata tama unaona kama haiwezekani unaanza kuji kujiona ya kwamba wewe ni duni wewe ni bure kabisa unaanza kuona ya kwamba wewe huna dhamana yoyote maybe even you are a student and you've done your exams and maybe those in those exams you have uh, your marks have come down your grades have lowered i want to tell you it doesn't matter at this moment you can still rise up and you can make it in life what you need to do is you give it all you give another you know another try and as you give that uh, remember you have been called for excellence those grades can be lifted up again that business can be lifted up again that house you know the, your marriage it doesn't matter what it is about give it another try and as the favor of the lord comes upon you because of how you are doing things the attitude that you have you know god will not reward an an uncaring attitude the i don't care attitude he will always look at the attitude that you have set for yourself and remember we are created for excellence paul in the second letter 
to the Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 7. I like the way he begins this uh, verse 7. He says, but just as you excel in everything, what does that mean? Uh, in everything, literally everything. He continues, in faith, in speech, in knowledge, in complete earnestness. You know, he's talking about excelling in everything then he's adding other things that he wants to to add but uh, when we go back to the story of joseph uh, i would want to say this that you are made for success yes sometimes you may find yourself fallen but my brother my sister rise up from the mud rise up from the dust dust yourself and pick it up again and continue because God is seeing and he's seeing your effort and your effort will be rewarded praise the Lord so once we seek to serve the standards of God uh, he will give us success in the areas that he is you know he has allowed us to be so today as um, I wind up I want also to talk about not only success but the favor of the Lord will also give you trust you know when Joseph was in Potiphar's house Potiphar trusted Joseph with everything and when he went to prison the prison warden trusted Joseph in everything he allowed him to you know to to place all that he was given to practice and to bring down the presence of God into his situation and so that is why the house of Potiphar was blessed that was why the prison uh, prison warden saw the blessings in Joseph's uh, life and then he allowed him to pick it up he allowed him to lead the others God has entrusted you uh, in uh, with the ministry of the place that he has taken you that place that you are in look at it today Evaluate your effort. What is it that you are doing? Are you just a maintenance person? Or you are going to be a fruitful person who makes the blessings of the Lord upon the, the people that you are living with? Uh, Joseph went to Potiphar's house. Potiphar's house was blessed. Praise the Lord. Yes, the point I am bringing as I wind up is that uh, many of us, when we discover that we have gone lower or maybe even the positions that we've been given we do grumble we do complain of things that we don't have we look at our failures and you know we allow them to draw us down and as they draw us down then even if god wanted to bless us he has no avenue he has no challenge uh, channel because we have shut the door of his blessings friend wherever you go as you give everything that you have or you can definitely our god is a god of blessings and he will bless you and our, uh, joseph became a blessing in the house of potiphar and we know even later on but we will talk about it probably next week uh, we, we, people will be blessed if you give everything that you can in the places where you are even your own family they'll be blessed because of you giving the standards of god giving the excellence of god giving everything not dub being double-minded you know not being very sure of uh, whether you'll be in that marriage for long will not allow god to bless you not uh, doing the things maybe you've been given salesmanship in your office and maybe the little money that you receive there's some little money that you set aside for yourself that will not be blessed even that money will eat into what you already have but once you become a trustworthy person a transparent person and it begins with me and you it doesn't have to begin with the whole nation to just have to begin with one person joseph made a very big difference he became a prime minister later why because he trusted god he revered god he did all things as per the excellence of god friends this morning as i wind up now i want to remind you the favor of god repackages us it gives us a new name it places us in a position of God's blessings. The favor of the Lord um, will open avenues 
that you have you can never even imagine it rebrands you the favor of god rebrands you and resettles you so even now yes we are going through challenges the economy may not be favorable maybe you are, your job has, was taken away it, maybe your business closed down but a friend you, our god the god we trust in the god of heaven is able to repackage you he is able to rebrand you and restart you once again he says that he will restore us he will gather us again and we will go to higher heights so may god bless you as uh, next week we will be able to further it on on the favor of the lord let us pray almighty god we thank you for reminding us the, that the favor of the lord is such a big gift that once we allow ourselves as vessels to be uh, favored by you we will be able to be blessed those around us will be blessed and even whatever we do will, will multiply because we see in the case of joseph wherever he went things multiplied Potiphar's house was blessed and there was multiplication why because lord you favored him this is the favor i asked for for my listener lord almighty that you may bless them that you may grant this uh, favor upon them and especially we pray for our nation that lord the favor of the lord will be upon our leaders our president and all those that he is working with that our nation will be blessed that our nation will be an exemplary nation even that others we will want to emulate because of the fear of the lord so help us as viewers as listeners that lord we may be able to do it as per your excellence and that nobody will have to come looking for what we have done uh, in order for them to clean up after us but that we may become people who will clean after others and making things come out shining for you this is our prayer in the name of god the father the son and the holy spirit amen amen <music>